whatever is bringing out the best in you, stay connected to them. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life Podcast. It's your girl, Jess, from Bahati Life Apothecary. It is so good to be able to sit with you guys here now, presently in this moment, on this beautiful Saturday, and share this message with you that came to me during my morning meditation. At the time of me sitting here and and just vibing with you, it is currently 82 degrees, which is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those days and one of those moments where I'm just so happy and so grateful to be where I'm at right now because the weather is good all the time. Even the rainy days are such good days. And I don't know if you're like me, but I also enjoy enjoy a storm moment. So fingers crossed that we'll get a storm rolling through here within the uh, upcoming days. But I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I enjoy the sunshine days as much as I do the stormy days. But today we have a sunshiny one. So I was thinking about meeting up with my mom and taking Franklin, my little pup, for those of you guys that don't know, to the beach for some vitamin D therapy and some sunshine vibes, which are so good right now and welcomed by me definitely. How is it by you? How are you feeling? What are you up to? What are you doing? Tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on TikTok at Bahati Life so that I can see what you guys are up to too. And we can have a Saturday or a Monday or Tuesday, whenever it is that you're listening together. All right. So I wanted to share this message with you from my meditation. Like I said, I'm setting the intention that if it's meant to resonate, then resonate it shall. It has to do with true, real, limitless wealth. And this is a wealth that can be found within you and can never be taken from you. The real wealth is in the mind and in the heart, my loves. For just a moment, I want to encourage you to think about how powerful your thoughts and your feelings are. If your mind is empowered and your heart is full, then you have the true capacity to take on the entire world. You've realized, and more importantly than that, you've accepted the fact that you are in fact a limitless magnetic magnet, a being of light with purpose and a destiny that is fated to be fulfilled and love and grace are yours to give and to receive. However, if your thoughts or heart are drained and wilted, then so too will be your power and ultimately your potential. A wilted mind or heart can still be watered and regenerated though through the power of spoken words, a divinely placed thought or feeling, a belief that breaks through and grows, or a prayer. All of it though comes right back to you and what you are currently believing. You are what you believe. If you believe that you are healthy, then you will be healthy. If you believe that you are abundant, then abundance is yours. If you believe that you are loving, then love is your natural state of being. If you believe that you are forgiving, then your energy changes into a space of grace and compassion and kindness. All of it comes back into the space of what you are choosing to believe. You can believe to be healthy, vibrant, full, loving, prosperous, abundant, and guess what? You will instantly become it. The growth towards those things is instantly wired into the fibers of your DNA and healing, love, peace, and prosperity become the very effortless core of you. The real wealth is in the mind and in the heart, my loves. For that reason, I want to encourage you to find people, mantras, affirmations, words every day that speak life into you and empower your spirit to the point where you feel so strong and so empowered. That is what spirit saw for you from the beginning. You may have forgotten that and you may need the reminder, but once you receive that and your spirit, your soul accepts this truth and reality, it will stick with you forever. Hold anyone that speaks to your mind, empowers your thinking and fills your heart because their value is lasting and effortless. And with that, I want to also encourage you to have boundaries and a healthy level of respect for this space of growth that is happening within you. And I want you to have the same healthy level of love and respect and boundaries 
for those that you cross along your path that speak life into you as well. This protects you and them and keeps us all vibrant beings. It protects the gift, it protects the love, it protects the light, which gives us each more space for us to give and receive our gifts to each other. I send you guys all of my love right here, right now, and always. I invite you to visit my hive, <laughs> as I call it, the apothecary and the blog space at bahadilife.com. There you can find me, more of my magical writings and thoughts and musings, things to inspire you, to guide you, to uplift you, to encourage you, to remind you of your power, and to speak life into you on the daily. You can also click and browse my apothecary, Bahati Life Apothecary, where you can find fixed candles, intention oils, herbs, and bundles to help you cleanse your space, magnify and attract your manifesting intentions, and plenty other magical goodies. Until then, I send you guys all of my love. I wish you a happy and thriving Saturday wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next Bahati Life message. 